Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is you, Ken. Welcome to Support Systems. Now, the topic of discussion today is the golden rule. Love others as you love yourself, right? So, I'm saying this because a lot we live in a world where how can I say this? I give you an example. I never treat anybody with disrespect and I never start anything with anybody and I believe that should be the philosophy of life but I know God allows things to happen to people so that they can grow and they can come closer to God as a choice you know so if you're in a situation where you're feel like you're um, being treated as less than or in a relationship or whatever, you know. Always keep self-control when I tell you these stories. And always remember that you have a lot to live for. You have a lot to work hard for. Because if you have enough time to obsess over how a person has treated you, then you have a lot of work to do, you know what I mean? So treat others as you treat yourself, and this is why. I never try to disrespect anybody or provoke anybody because of this simple fact, man. I remember it was a a young man that I knew. He was about, about four or five years old, younger than I was. And he was quiet and he was reserved and he stayed to himself, right? Kind of like I was, but a little bit, I was more gregarious. You know, I actually, you know, had interactions with people. This, this young man, he usually stayed in the house or whatever. So we had a family that moved in from um, the projects and they came in and they were a really nice family you know I got along with all of them you know and um, it was one guy the only problem he had was he would always antagonize he was an antagonizer you know what I mean and when I tell this story it's no reason to hurt anybody there's no reason for anybody to be hurt so I'm not saying that this is divine karma. I'm saying this is what could happen to a person when they provoke people. So, okay. And he would antagonize this young man because he was, you know, he didn't look that intimidating. You know, you know he was young, so he was a shorter guy. And he just didn't talk much, so he would just... He, just talk shit, shit about this guy and I, sh I felt like I was responsible for that in a way because I should have said something you know prevented this man from getting himself in a situation so far as the antagonizer you know so make a long story short they was alone and I find out several days later that this young man shot my homeboy that was from Lafayette. So when this happened, I kept thinking, I was like, man, I knew something was gonna happen because he antagonized this man all the time. And it's only, but so far I was like, I, I, he just had that look about him, you know, that he, he was just internalizing stuff and he didn't really express everything that he needed to express. And that can be a recipe for some, for disaster like you have different types of people in this world you got implosive personalities and you got explosive personalities so i'm urging people I'm, I'm pleading with people to treat others like you treat yourself or you would like yourself to be treated and i'm saying this because i don't want nobody to get hurt i don't want anybody to get hurt and we live in a society where people are constantly Especially the city I'm, I'm actually from, you know, and this was a good neighborhood in the city, you know what I'm saying? And this, this was an occurrence that happened every so often, like certain things would happen like that. And even in the movie, I remember so many things that happened to people, man. You can never know what a person is thinking. Like, um, it was a movie with, um, not Dustin Hoffman, but Michael Keaton. Not Michael Keaton, I forget the guy. Michael Douglas, okay. It was called Falling Down. It was about this guy, he sold knives door to door. Back in the day, 
for people that's young, back in the day, used to have people to sell products door to door, you know, not solar energy and stuff like that, but actual tangible products like knives, vacuums and stuff like that. People used to go door to door and do that in the 80s and 90s and beyond and and, and way, way before that. I would have gave you a blooper, but I'm not trying to go that far. So this story is another story about like how people go postal. <laughs> it's not cool. It's not cool on either either part because I see that people have a lack of emotional intelligence. Like people, like a lot of people on YouTube are saying, like you gotta have emotional intelligence in this world to understand the decisions that you're making, if they're right or if they're wrong, if they're even worth it. Like if if people didn't, if people could think when they're emotional most of the time, it would be a, the jail cells that we have right now wouldn't be as full, you know what I mean? Now, back to Michael Douglas. I went on a tangent, falling down the movie. This man was in a divorce, you know, he had everything fall down on him, you know, mentally, spiritually, and sometimes physically. He was being treated like, like shit, like everywhere he went. You know, and this guy just lost it, man. He he was buying guns, grenade launchers, and remembering the people that did him wrong, and everything that the creator is against, he went for it because he he just wanted the respect. He wanted the respect on this on this planet Earth. When all respect that's even worth it is the respect of Allah, respect of God. You know what I mean? That's the true respect that you get in life. You know what I'm saying? So far as the person, the being that you want the respect from is God, of course. But people don't see it that way. They want the money, they want the flash, they want to live comfortably because we living in three-dimensional world with these bodies that are animals in no blink, no but no terms that are not that you can't understand. We are definitely animals. And sometimes we get in survival mode. So, unfortunately, that's what happened. And this actually things that like that that happen in life. And I just want to prevent this stuff from happening. I do not want this to happen to anybody at all. I don't want nobody to go postal. I don't nobody. I don't want people to provoke people into some craziness. You know, because it's happening a lot. Like I knew it. I knew it. I knew he was going to do that. But I, everything happened for a reason. And it turned, the guy lived, that I taught, tells you about, he turned his life around and everything. And the young man, unfortunately, I don't know if he's still in jail or not, so far as the real life situation I was telling you about, about the, um, the shooting. So I think about these things from time to time, and I just don't understand, I understand that that's part of life, and, I've just experienced certain things that make you think. Like, I don't wanna, I don't know, no matter who you are, like, I, a dude could be a midget. I'm not messing with you, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just too much out here. And I wanna prevent people from getting hurt in the long run because you're gonna be in a situation that you think is like every other situation, then it turned out not to be. Like, it's another story about um, above the rim. There's so many stories about people that got treated the opposite of how, that people that treated people the opposite of how they wanted to be treated. And what happened was it went left, like with Boogaloo and above the rim. Boogaloo was a young man that wanted to fit into the in crowd. And Tupac was like the drug dealer in that, in that particular film. And he was just kicking this guy around and all types of stuff. And then once his um, muscle got murked, the dude Boogaloo just decided to take matters in his own hands and just took a man's life. Just for just for no reason at all. And it's like just for just for disrespect, people take your life. And that's not even cool, man. None of that's cool. Either none none of none of that stuff is condoned. But sometimes people be in a situation where they just do stuff, man. And I guess this is how the world's going to be. I can't prevent it. So I'm just talking to people on both sides. Like, stop 
fucking with people. I'm just please just stop messing with these people because you're gonna eventually somebody's gonna come and do something that you don't expect because a fearful person actually do some wild stuff sometimes. And they don't have self control like a lot of people like learning on this channel, you know what I mean? And also for people that don't have self control, I urge you just to keep your cool, man. Just don't don't do no stupid stuff, man. Just because you want respect in this world, the only respect that you need to understand is the respect of God. You know? Everything that you want in life, you gotta struggle for. You won't have to you won't have to go through some pain. And just know that the most high got your back. That's what I'm saying. I, I talk to a lot of guys on this channel and I just wanna I just wanna hope for you. I hope that y'all do the right thing, man. I'ma keep I'ma keep pushing this message. You know, I'm not no perfect man, but I just I wanna do God's will and I wanna make sure that you are right. So don't be a boogaloo. Just because somebody touching you and stuff like that or disrespecting you don't mean you gotta wild out. Don't be a guy like that goes postal, like falling down and lose and ruin people's lives. You know, don't be that person. And don't mess with people either, you know. So my name is You Can, I'm out. Deuces.